so I'm going to start by telling you about my experience in Indonesia. And your, if you do get a Fulbright ETA, your experience is going to depend on the country that you're in and the site that you're placed in. So I was placed in southern Borneo. Um, the Indonesian part of Borneo is called Kalimantan. I was placed in what's called a madrasa, and it's an Islamic boarding school. And the point of these schools is to um, turn these children into good Muslims, good Muslim children. Um, traditionally, they only teach Arabic ethics courses and um, courses on the Quran. This was a progressive madrasa, meaning that they taught math, they taught science, they taught English, they let someone like me come into their school. But it's still, it was very, very conservative. And this was the best year of my life. It was also one of the hardest years. Uh, I was incredibly lonely. Uh, I've learned a lot in a very different way than I was learning at Amherst. I learned a new language. I was able to read a lot of novels. I wrote a lot. Um, I learned how to interact with people who were very different from me. Um, I had to adjust to a very religious and conservative society. I wore a head veil. I was living on the equator. I sweat all the time. <laughs> uh, it was, I was one of two white people in the region. Um, and I loved that, but it's not for everyone. Um, it was, yeah, especially as a female, it was really challenging in a lot of ways. I couldn't tell people that I had a boyfriend because dating wasn't allowed in my community. I couldn't, I had trouble exercising. Um, but I loved that. You know, these were challenges and it, like I said, it was a great year. I was able to travel quite a bit. I taught 10 hours a week and that was full time. Um, it was a great, great year. But So there were 30 ETAs, uh, maybe 25 ETAs my year in Indonesia. And some people were placed in Jakarta and they had a completely different experience from mine. Um, another, one, another girl was living in a mansion in a large city in Indonesia. And again, she had a very, very different experience. So your experience is going to completely depend on where you're placed. And also, it's, it's also going to depend on, so there's the State Department in DC obviously but then there's also an in-country organization and it's going to depend on who's running that in-country organization um, and I don't have any advice to give you on <laughs> the different types of organizations so the one in Indonesia ran pretty well I had friends who did a, an ETA they were ETAs in Malaysia and they said the organization there was not good <laughs> it was a, they were in a they were very unhappy with their living arrangements. and So it's, it's really going to vary. You're going to be teaching, so you should obviously try to write about teaching experiences. I wrote about um, a J term. Do you guys still have J term? Yeah. They were talking about getting rid of it when I was here. But a J term experience where I was teaching in New York City. I also wrote about being a camp counselor when I was growing up and babysitting, so working with kids, and I do enjoy working with kids. I wrote about wanting to be a college professor, which is still what I want to do. Um, and so I wrote about how I thought I li liked teaching and working with kids, and um, my plans to pursue a PhD in geology, which is what I'm doing, and um, how eventually I want to teach at a small liberal arts school. And so you should definitely tie in some interest in teaching or in education. And I think, as Denise was saying, that's becoming more and more important in the process, the application process. But with that said, the first thing that they told me when I got to the country is that we're not training you to be teachers. This isn't a teaching program. This is a diplomacy program. The State Department is sending out Amer like young Americans to show the world that not all Americans are horrible people. Um, and I think it's really going to depend on what country you're applying to, but in a place like Indonesia that has, I don't know, millions of Muslims, I don't know how many millions of Muslims, it was very, very important there. And I was placed in a rural community where nobody had ever seen an American. And um, that, it, that made it really challenging for me. The second I stepped outside my door, all eyes were on me, and everyone was watching every single thing that I did, and I was representing all of America. You know, to thousands of people in my community, I was America. And they, they so we had a three-week orientation, and they told us that, you know, you are going to be representing America. And so I think in your application process, you should think about that. 